Hey everyone! I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to share a tutorial video with you today, where we'll walk through the process of creating a personalized photography website that can increase your exposure and attract more visitors. We'll start by installing plugins on your WordPress site and then move on to setting up and customizing a gallery. The main focus of today's video will be on installing the Elementor page builder on your WordPress platform and applying a visually appealing theme. Lastly, we'll show you how to install essential plugins and use them effectively. With these, you can share your photos with clients, create private galleries, protect images, share feedback with clients, present galleries, and more. So, let's dive right in and take a tour together. Let's start by getting those necessary plugins installed on your WordPress site. We will begin with Elementor as the foundation of your website. Head over to the dashboard, click on Plugins, and then navigate to the Add New Plugin interface. You've got two options here. First, if you've got the plugin in a RAR file on your computer, you can upload it. Otherwise, you can search for it in the WordPress database. For Elementor, it's already available, so just search for it and hit Install now. Once you've got Elementor set up, let's customize your site with a theme. Click on the Appearance tab, then select Themes. Hit Add New Theme. Like with plugins, you can either upload your own or choose from the database. A good recommendation, especially for WordPress beginners, is the Astra theme. It has a simple and modern look, is mobile-friendly, and is easy to configure. Now, let's talk about something crucial, installing the WP Media folder and its add-on. A quick heads up, this one's a commercial plugin. I'll drop the link and additional info in the description. To install it, follow a similar process to the plugins, but this time, you'll upload the RAR file just like this. Once you've finished the initial setup, head over to the settings and locate the WP Media folder. Inside, there's a section labeled Photographer. Make sure to switch that option on, it grants access to the Photographer feature within the Media Folder Gallery. Once that's sorted, accessing the Media Folder Galleries is a breeze from your dashboard. Here's the main display for the gallery. There's plenty to explore here, but today, I'll be focusing specifically on Photographer Galleries. I'll cover other features and uses on my channel as well, so stay tuned for that. Let's focus on the highlights. Within the Media Folder Gallery, you can craft your media galleries, seamlessly integrated with your Page Builder plugin. To get started, you can either click the Add New Gallery button or right-click on the left navigation tree to create a new gallery from where you are. You can upload files from your local storage or import them from your WordPress media library. And here's an interesting twist, galleries aren't limited to just media files, they can also include other galleries. You can create a sub-gallery, referred to as a gallery level, within a gallery. As mentioned earlier, the gallery seamlessly integrates with the page builder, allowing you to easily include it in your website design. I'll demonstrate how to add it to your page and explore some themes while we're at it. Head to the Pages section in your dashboard. You can either create a new page or edit an existing one using Elementor. Next, create a new block where we'll add a plugin. Look for the WP Media Folder Gallery add-on in the widget menu on the left side, then drag it onto your page. Your left menu bar will transform into the widget configuration. Here, start by selecting a gallery. Design is crucial, so we're going to tweak some detailed settings to make the gallery truly yours. Among the most significant options is the theme. The plugin offers you eight themes, default, masonry, portfolio, slider, flow side, square grid, material, and custom grid. Each theme presents files uniquely, and you can customize them too. In every photographer gallery, you have the option to create a private gallery and share it with specific individuals. This is how your clients and customers will experience your album from their viewpoint. Within this display, hovering your mouse over a picture reveals two options at the top right corner of each image, one for download and the other for adding to a wishlist. Let's explore the wishlist feature by adding some pictures. Once I've added a few pictures to my wishlist, I can access my list using this button. I can also filter the pictures I've marked or download the entire list I've created, adjusting the quality settings using this button. 
Staying connected with your customers is important, and the photographer feature helps you with this. When a customer accesses their wishlist, they can leave comments on the pictures they've added. These comments become visible to everyone with access to the album, not just other photographers but also users granted access. What's fantastic is that these photo comments seamlessly integrate with the native WordPress comment system. Take a look here, I'm navigating back to the WordPress admin. In the comments section, I can view all the customer comments and reply directly. As a photographer, I receive email notifications too. Plus, within the photographer gallery system, I can efficiently manage new comments as they come in. Sure, let's dive into some settings for a moment. Specifically, within the photographer settings, there's an option to set the maximum size for downloadable files in your gallery. This feature is pretty handy as it gives you control over the file sizes your clients can download. It's worth noting that this setting can be customized for each gallery. Now, here on the client side public page, I can download images from this gallery. However, I've limited the downloads to just three smaller sizes, not the larger images. The concept here is that if, for instance, the photos are paid for by the client, you can grant access to download the full size images. Another significant setting is the watermark feature. This allows you to add a watermark to your photos, ensuring that when someone downloads an image from your site, the photo will bear an unremovable watermark. Let me walk you through an example. First, I'll select a logo from my media library and adjust the settings accordingly. Once I've made the changes, I'll save them and return them to my shared gallery. I'll download a file from the gallery, like this one, and open it on my computer. And there you have it. Notice how the logo I selected earlier now appears as a watermark in the left corner of the photo. Now let's discuss the pricing for the only commercial plugin that you'll ever need to buy for your photography website. The photographer integration is included in the WP Media Folder plugin as an add-on, not in the main WordPress Media Folder plugin membership. This plugin add-on offers various other useful features, such as cloud connectors like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive, among others. It's also compatible with popular third-party plugins like DD Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor. You can check my other videos to find out more about the additional add-ons available. The plugin's main features are available for $49, but if you want to use the gallery and photographer add-on, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option. This option also includes cloud integration, which allows you to connect to many different cloud services. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a wonderful day, bye.